This video will cover how to replace a battery on this 2017 Chevy Equinox 2.4 liter. But it's more similar on the 2010 to 2017 models. As you open the hood on this vehicle and look for the battery, it makes you wonder where the battery is. You need to look at the bottom of what looks like a computer, a vehicle computer. You will see a battery compartment just past the wire harness that are connected to the vehicle computer. Don't let this intimidate you. The first thing to do is take off the computer cover by unclipping it and sliding it towards the driver's side and lift it off. Next, look for the 10 mm bolt on the passenger side of the computer bolted to the battery box. Using a ratchet and 10 mm deep socket, unbolt it and put it in a safe place. Then slide the whole computer towards the driver's side and then tuck it to the side. Careful not to pull and twist the wires. Lift the rubber covers from both terminals to expose the 10 mm nuts on the clamps. But before we loosen them, it's best to take off the bracket holding the battery in the box. There's a 10 mm nut you just need to loosen here, and a 10 mm bolted to the frame under this plastic cover, which needs to be removed by pulling out three plastic rivets first. Using a nylon trim pry bar, insert it under the head of the rivet, not the base. This will release the base that's gripped to the frame and it will come off without damaging the rivet so it can be reused again. You can carefully use a flat screwdriver to do this as well. Once all three are removed, lift the plastic trim. You will notice a crease in the plastic that allows it to fold out of the way. Back to removing the bracket, unbolt the exposed bolt all the way out. Next, loosen the nut on the other side of the bracket about halfway. Then lift the bracket and swivel it out of the way. Okay, now the battery terminals can be removed by loosening the negative first. After loosening the 10 mm nut enough, use a flat screwdriver to loosen the clamp by prying it apart until it's loose enough to lift it out of the battery. We'll leave it on the battery and loosen the positive terminal using a 10 mm open box wrench. Because of the nut being on the side of the clamp on this one, it's too close to the metal battery box, so the ratchet will not fit in there with the socket. After making sure it will slide off, do not take it off. Do the negative first, then come back to the positive and take it off. On this vehicle, the cables have barely any slack, so if you have someone that can help lift the battery, while someone holds the cables out of the way, it would make it a lot easier. This is a good time to do some cleaning in and around the tray to remove the uh, leaves, dirt, or any corrosive powder from the old battery. Take a wire brush and clean any of the corrosive deposits on the terminals, especially the negative side. Place the new battery in the tray, facing the terminals towards the windshield like the old one. When rehooking the battery terminal, it's positive first and then negative. Before you reinstall the terminals, I spray any corrosive on the battery and cable terminals. Before tightening the terminals, center the battery in the tray and make sure the bracket will land in the center of the battery so the computer will be centered as well. You uh, slide it back in. Tighten each 10 millimeter nut on each terminal. Be careful not to over tighten. And put the rubber covers on each terminal. Now bolt the bracket back on 
and then the nut on each side of the bracket. Place the plastic cover back and reinsert the three rivets Time for the computer to go back on its bracket and put the 10 mm bolt back on. Next is the uh, plastic cover. Make sure all three sides are clipped in. Each side has sliding clips and the back has a stopping clip that prevents it from sliding off. Don't forget to take all the tools out of the engine compartment area. Next thing is to start it up and see if anything needs to be reset. Looks like just the time on the clock needs to be reset. You have now completed this job and hopefully this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. You all have a great day.